Cruising with the Stars is brought to you by Speaks Volumes, your contact to the stars. Hello there, great to be with you today and a very warm welcome to Cruising with the Stars with me, Debbie Jones. Now, just before I introduce our guest for today, let me remind you about this. This is the first time guide to cruising and we've produced this because so many of you have emailed us or contacted us in another way and said, we think we'd like to have a go at a cruise, but we don't know how to go about it. We don't know what the rules and regulations are. So we've put everything in here that you need to know. Sort of the, the, the bits, the most, the favorite one is people are terrified of the tips. How much do you tip? Who do you tip? When do you tip them? Everything is organized in here, as well as things like, do you need inoculations or anything like that? Really handy, this. Call me on 0871. Four two three double four double four. That's zero eight seven one four two three double four double four, and we'll send one to you. It's free of charge. The actual leaflet, the calls will cost ten p a minute, and that's from a BT landline and costs from other networks and mobiles. They may of course vary. Anyway, on with the show now. I'm really pleased to be interviewing this lovely lady today because you know when I say to you, uh, are you interested in coming on as my guest here? Well, this is one of the ladies that's actually. Uh, emailed me and said, I'm interested, I'd like to get on, I can do that, I'm, I tell you what, she's brilliant. Michelle Montuori. Michelle. Hi, how are you, I Debbie? I am fab, and it's great to have you here today. And thanks for inviting yeah. me. Well, it's a pleasure you emailed me and you told me a few of the bits that you've done. I, I thought, oh, she yes. looks good. So yeah, interesting. <laughs> yeah, absolutely super. Yeah. So thank you for coming on. Now, no problem. Now, you are an unusual one in that you are a dancer, a professional dancer, yeah. turned singer. So, yeah. uh, so when did you start dancing? Well, I, I trained from about 12 years old and I went professional when I was 16. First job, professional dancer. Yeah. First time ever on an aeroplane. First time abroad, yeah. we went to Malta. Well, I was I, very young oh, when you were 16. Yeah, my grandparents had to sign a little certificate. Yeah. And I was going to ask yeah, that because absolutely. You, you have to have a sort of guardian, a guardian, ward of yeah. court type That's of right, thing. That's right, I did, yes. And it was uh, the daughter of the lady that ran the hotel. Yeah. And so they signed the paperwork to say that I could go and that they would look after me. Yeah. And they really did. We had a fabulous did time. Did yeah. they, were they strict? Wonderful. Did they let you out at night? Or they were did a they, bit yeah. strict. I mean, they liked when I'd done my shows that I went straight back to the hotel and things yes. like that but but they were very family orientated husband and wife around the hotel yeah. their children were also involved in the hotel and they've got grown-up children as well and we were extremely well looked after yeah and those what, were the days you know when we were put on a pedestal dancing yes. were put on a pedestal it was of course, lovely of course because the dancers the acts the artists yeah. It was a bit of stardust sprinkled, was. wasn't it? I remember it? Be arriving at the airport in Malta and I felt like it was the Beatles or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was wonderful, yeah, yeah, it was really... And how many dancers were there that went I think went that over? time we were four dancers and a singer. But funnily enough, that was kind of how I got into the singing because when we arrived there and the singer had a little bit of a rehearsal, she got stage fright, she got nerves and couldn't do it. And yeah. uh, the gobby Don Castrian said, oh, I'll have a go. <laughs> Really? And I did have a go and, and I loved it. So yeah. I was doing the dancing and a bit of singing as well. It's a bit hard to actually dance around yourself when you're singing though, isn't oh, it? I'll, I'll have a go. <laughs> hey, well done. So that was super. Yeah. The other thing that really interested me, lo looking at everything that you've done, you got funding through, as it was then, I did, yeah. the Prince Charles Business Trust. I did. To yes. further your career. How did that work? Tell me how that started. Yeah, well, as you're getting older, oh dear, you don't want to be doing the can-can every night. You've got to keep <laughs> the weight down. You've got to be young to be doing the can-can yeah. every night. And so, having had these little tries at singing, I was convinced that, that I kind of could do it. Yes. And that I wanted to have a go at doing it of a more professional kind yeah. of situation. So you need equipment, backing tracks, music, yeah. costumes. And someone had told me about the Princess Trust Award. And uh, so I cheekily wrote a letter and said, uh, please, sir, you know, I've been a dancer for years. I think I'd be good at singing. 
Um, I'm sure like yourself, Debbie, when we're northern, we do have a bit of a comedy streak. Yes. You know, Liverpoolian, absolutely. Yorkshire people. Absolutely. And I just felt that I could probably cope with being a, a cabaret and yeah. a solo entertainer. So how long then, at this stage, had you been dancing for? How old-ish were you by well, this time? Well, I was... I was 16 when I started professionally, yeah, and I was in my in my 20s uh, yeah. because you have to be. I think it's up to 27 that you can get the the Princess Trust Award. Yeah. So I was in my early 20s when I was still continuing to dance, but was trying to do both careers at the same yes. time. So it's probably early 20s right. when I actually wrote and said, "Please, can I have I, some money?" I, I, I love just shows a fabulous initiative. And he wrote back a lovely letter. Did he? Very nice letter. And you have to do a business plan, and there's a little bit involved with yes. it, and you get. Um, like a, a guide, a, a gentleman or a lady that guides you. Yeah. And I had somebody straight enough from the coal board, um, <laughs> which had totally nothing to do with uh, singing or dancing, but it was very good in business matters. Yes. Yeah. And so he was my guide mm -hmm. and very good. And yes, you get the letter from Prince Charles, the good luck letter, yeah. the money, I, and so it was lovely. wonderful. It was a and great of course, start. In your local Doncaster Herald or whatever. Yeah, the free press. I bet you got, the, <laughs> I bet you got a, a really good story. I there. did, yeah, great story. Well, what we're going to do yeah. now, we're going to take a, a listen to you, just okay. so that our lovely viewers can see what, uh, what a great voice Michelle has. And uh, this song, I love this. It's a really great show opener. Don't rain on my parade. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and butter. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around the clouds to rain on my parade. Don't tell me not to lie, I've simply got to. If someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. Who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade? How much my band out? Sheer perfection, a prickle on the nose of life's complexion, a sinner or a shiny apple of its eye. I've got to fly once, I gotta try once, only can die once. Right, sir, who life be juicy, juicy and juicy. I gotta have my bite, sir. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a coming. I've simply gotta march my heart to drummer. Don't bring her on the clouds to rain on my Fantastic, Michelle Montori there singing Don't Rain on My Parade. That's a cracking song. Are you a fan of Barbara Streisand? Oh, what a voice. What a belter. I was listening yeah. to her on the radio yesterday. She said that the British people call her Streisand, and she yeah. says she likes Streisand. Streisand. <laughs> Streisand. Yeah, so I'll have to change my What a wonderful singer, yes. Yeah. She's got plenty of welly, a bit of power like myself. Yes. And uh, I think the reason that I do a few songs, I've got the nose, you know, like Barbara Streisand. Sideways? Mm. That's a very nice nose. It's, it's a bit of a Barry Manilow nose, isn't it? So <laughs> I do do Barry and Barbara Streisand. I was going to say, uh, I used to have one of those. Oh, did you? A Barry Manilow nose. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I dare do that. Oh, <laughs> nothing to it. <laughs> but yeah, but, great uh, voice, great but voice. But the now you sang that. I mean, you're a real 
superb performer. Did, did the dancing help you to... Absolutely. To, because you, I notice when you're actually uh, delivering the song, you move beautifully. Yeah, that's actually what the, the passengers usually comment about. You know, oh, great voice, but what a mover, or they like the fact that I'm using my arms and my hands, and yes. you're selling the song. And really, when you've danced, you, you just can't stand and sing it. You've got yeah. to give it a bit of pizzazz. Well, you know? I did notice when I was looking at a DVD of you performing, yeah. and you do stick wonderful little bits of dancing <laughs> that just a normal singer probably couldn't yeah. do. Yeah. yeah, you just don't want to let it go. You no, know. You just... However old I get, I still want to just <laughs> kick a leg or do something. Yeah, I know that feeling oh, well. Welcome anyway. to my world. <laughs> well, what we'll do, we'll come back in just a moment. We're going to take a very, very quick break uh, and then we'll be back with Michelle after this. Cruising with the Stars is brought to you by Speaks Volumes, your contact to the stars.